What's up everybody, Chat Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. Today we are fishing on the Tennessee River, Naked Jack Lake, and got my good friend Kevin with us today. And we're gonna be going for some catfish, specifically big fish. Uh, we're targeting uh, uh, some pretty big Tennessee River monsters. And we're also gonna be doing some bass fishing with the light tackle rods here. Got some uh, live shiners down in here. So we're gonna just kind of play it by ear. It's been a couple weeks, guys, since I've been on the river. Uh, we have a pretty low current right now, generating around 15,000 cubic feet per second. So if you guys did not know, my entire uh, anchor rods now are the Shattered Cat Rod. I had one before and liked it so much that I ended up getting uh, three more to kind of replace my entire uh, back rack here. So these are very good rods. They're a one piece rod and I just love them. So I got three more. So the night sticks that I was using, uh, I still have those, but there's going to be more for bank fishing and who knows, maybe I'll do a giveaway in the future over them. So anyway, guys, stay tuned and let's get a fish. <laughs> start reeling. Yep. Start reeling, man. Zone. What you got there, Kevin? Catfish. Yeah, probably a small one, huh? I don't know. Yeah, I see him over there. That's a decent one. Whoa, that's not a bad one, Kevin. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and uh get the grippers on this guy oh he's a little, little chub right there that's all right mama's been feeding you well there we go See? not too bad not too bad that's not bad kevin go ahead and just hook that one to the first eye there and Take a picture of me and send it yeah. to my phone. Yeah. Work. It's a nice one, though. Here you go, sir. Just put your hand in the lanyard there. Okay. You want to wham real quick? Yeah, we can. It is 13 and a half. Not bad. Not bad. All right, man. Let's go ahead and release them. And just put them over here and yeah, he's ready. Those kind of work like pliers. Let's pull them apart. There we go. Nice. He's on. <laughs> oh, yep. Don't don't muscle him too much, but just small one. Hey, it's a fish. It's a fish. Daddy's got a fish. Just keep him away from that motor. Daddy's got a fish. That's not a bad one here. Um, can can you go fish. underneath that rod? Like, just kind of take it underneath and... Yeah, sure. Let me get this. Oh, he's up pretty good. Okay. Come here, little son. Here, let's pull him in real quick. <laughs> little son. Alrighty. Nah, don't worry about that. It's all good. Just put that one through the eye. And... Not a bad one. I'd say he's probably, what, maybe five pounds? Five or six. Looks like he's been in the mud, too. Look at that. On his... Um... Is he going to or not? Nah, he's probably five pounds. Here we go. Bye-bye. There he goes. Oh. Yeah. Got something there, Kevin. Whoa, that's a nice bass, man. Oh, 
That's a nice one, dude. Oh. Need some help landing them? Yeah, that's pretty good. All righty. That's a nice one, dude. He'll probably go, uh, I don't know, maybe a pound and a half. I think this one's a spotted though, because it has a black patch right there. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not mistaken, guys, this is a uh, spotted bass because there's a patch right there. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that if it has a black patch right there it's a spotted bass it's a nice one though man two pounds two pound bass that's not bad man and take a picture if you don't mind and we will. yeah man we'll release that thing all right let's go ahead and release them two pound spotted bass come on he's ready there we goes nice not bad not bad Okay, all right, hold on. All right, he's hooked up with the good bass. With the good bass. Oh, it could be a channel cat too. Oh, wait, you got a bass. Oh, well, he got a, is that a little stripe? Oh, man, yeah, that's a... Oh, that's a, that's a, or is that a white bass? Um, anyway, that's a nice fish. Dang, man. On the corner. Man, that's a keeper right there, that's for sure. Are you put him in the lab or take him home? Nah, that's all right, man. Is that a maybe it's a hybrid? I think it's a hybrid. There you yeah. go, man. Want a picture? Definitely a picture time. Three, two, one. Hold it there. Hold it there. There you go. There you go. There he goes. Nice. Are you kind of against the wall there? Yeah. Another one. Oh, you got a fish on. Yeah. Oh, you got a little bass. You can probably just swing him in, Bill dance him. Oh, looks like you got a. Wait, that's a. Yeah, that's a small mouth, I think. Yep. Small little baby small mouth. Baby small mouth bass. They fight so good, don't they? The smallmouth bass. And you didn't eat the winner. He's dead though, but you can still use him if you want. Fish on. Oh yeah. There we go. It's a small one, but. Oh, he just spit the shad out. That's a nice fish. Look at that fish, guys. Just using shiners here below uh, Chickamauga Dam. And uh, we are fishing along this wing wall here. This is an ambush spot. Probably the perfect ambush spot below a dam is a wing wall because the current is on the other side and the water here is slack water so pretty small small mouth but uh nice fish regardless 
So me and Kevin, we're just freelining shiners right against this wall and hoping to get some pretty good bass. We've caught a few small ones, nothing big. Using a size four hook, I believe, bait holder hook, and just putting it right below the bottom lip up through the top nostril there. Fish on! Oh, it came off. <sighs> Wasn't hooked that well, I guess. Felt about the same as the other ones. All right, guys, we're gonna call quits for today. Uh, pretty slow for the catfish, but the bass bite was pretty good. Uh, so definitely enjoyed having Kevin on the Chat Cats fishing vessel. Give me a thumbs up for this video, guys, and we'll talk to you later.